Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And this video is going to be another installment in my Absolute Beginner Guide, the video series that I'm putting together that has a special focus on people who are brand new to Orbiter. Now, in the last few videos, we've taken a look at how to uh, download and install some various MFDs, MFDs that actually uh, don't come with Orbiter 2010 by default, such as Burn Time Calculator, Base Sync, um, and Aerobrake. Now, there is an MFD that comes with Orbiter 2010 by default called Transex. I don't believe it's actually enabled. You have to go into modules and enable it. But it turns out that the Transex version uh, that comes with Orbiter 2010 is a little bit broken. It's a little unfortunate that that happened. So I want to talk about, uh, in this video, I want to talk about how we can actually download a replacement for Transex because it's a very useful MFD and we'll, be, uh, we'll, we'll need to use that in future missions to go to Mars, to go to Venus, and things like that. But first, let's take a look at the default version of Transex so that we can understand exactly what the problem is. Um, again, I don't think uh, Transex is enabled by default, so if you want to kind of follow along, you would have to go to your Orbiter launch pad, go into the modules, and then enable Transex. But the, the issue here is Let's say, for example, that we want to plot a course to go back to Earth. I'm just going to go through this quickly. This isn't an instructional video for how to do it. I just want to show what the problem is. So we're sitting here on the moon. You can see, you know, we're at Brighton Beach uh, here in the Delta Glider. So in Transex, I'm just going to quickly press plus plus here to go to escape because we need to escape the moon to get back to Earth. And then we'll go forward on this side. We'll go over to our eject plan. Then we'll put in a little bit of prograde to get down to Earth. And again, don't worry about trying to follow along with this. This isn't an instructional video for how to use Transex. I just want to show what the problem is. So we have a little bit of negative prograde there. Now let's go back to stage one. And you can see right away, this is actually the problem with the default version of Transex. You see this big white uh, sphere, this big white circle here. This is actually a problem because there's information inside of this uh, blotted out sphere that we need to be able to see and if we're going to plan a uh, if we're going to plan a mission to get back to earth and since we can't see that information uh, it's really pretty much impossible to uh, to go back to earth and for that matter it's kind of impossible to really go anywhere in the solar system using transects because if we want to go from earth to mars or from Mars to Mercury or whatever, we're always going to run into this problem where we have this big white blob uh, laying over top of this sphere and hiding crucial information. So that's the problem. Now let's talk about how to fix it. So let's exit out of Orbiter. Now you'll want to go to orbithanger.com. <clears throat> and again, of course, I'll provide a link in the description down below so you don't have to try to make note of this here in the video and the version of Transex that I would recommend at this time and this time by the way is uh, December 10th 2013 would be this version here and if this version gets updated I will make note of that in the description uh, in the video description down below but currently this is the uh, most current version of Transex for the first uh, three years, I, I actually found Orbiter right after the 2010 version came out. And in the three, uh, almost three and a half years now that I've been using Orbiter, uh, Transex has never been updated. But very recently, just here in the last two weeks, uh, week 10 to, 10 to 14 days, there's actually been quite a bit of new activity to update uh, Transex and make it better. So this is the version that I would currently recommend. So go ahead and download that, and as always, just put it wherever you want to put it on your system, but just for the sake of simplicity here in this video, I've got it here right here on my desktop. Now to install it, it will, it will work the same way as it did when we installed Burn Time Calculator, when we installed Base Sync, and when we installed Aerobrake. You know, you'll notice a pattern that almost all Orbiter add-ons kind of work the same way. So we simply open the zip file, and we have these three directories. And again, if you've followed the last uh, few videos on the um, on the various 
add-ons that we've added, the various MFDs, you'll remember that the Orbiter SDK is the software development kit, and that's not needed for the average user. You know, the pe people that just use Orbiter and aren't developers. If you aren't a C++ developer, then you don't need that. So all you have to do is click the doc folder and uh, shift click the modules or control click the modules and then drag that into your Orbiter 2010 directory and let go and that will install, that will effectively install uh, Transx, this, this newer version of Transx. Now you'll note when you do that, that it's going to give you some kind of warning that says uh, Transx.dll already exists and would you like to overwrite it? Go ahead and say yes to that because remember the version of Transx that comes with Orbiter 2010 is broken so there's really no need to preserve it. So we would just want to overwrite that version with the ver with the version that we get from orbithanger.com. And the doc folder, of course, is not absolutely necessary, but it's always a good idea to install the documentation so that you can refer back to that at some other time. So once you have that done, go back to your Orbiter Launchpad, go into Modules, and then if you go into the, uh, looks like it's MFD Modes, you'll want to make sure that Transx is checked, and you can optionally check Transx2. This uh, updated version of Transx comes with two instances of Transx. For the absolute beginner, you won't need the second instance of Transx anytime soon, but it won't hurt anything to have it checked, so I'll leave that up to you. You can check it or uncheck it, it doesn't matter. Uh, for your first uh, for your first mini uh, experiences with learning to use Transx, you're only ever going to you probably ever only going to use one instance. There are more sophisticated missions where it becomes necessary to have a second instance of Transx, but that's quite advanced, and we probably won't ever get into that in the Absolute Beginner Guide. So for the Absolute Beginner, just make sure that Transx is checked, and then the other one doesn't really matter. Now let's make sure that we fixed things. Let's go back to our scenarios. And if you go to the uh, Delta Glider folder and bring up Brighton Beach and hit Launch Orbiter, we'll be able to quickly test uh, the new Transx DLL to make sure that it's doing what we want it to do. So once this comes up, we're just going to run through the same thing that we did before, which is to just validate validate that MFD. So let's go, you know, into the cockpit view, select and bring up Transx 1 or 2, it doesn't matter. And now we're just going to press plus plus to hit escape. Now we're going to go forward. We're going to press VW to get over to the eject plan, then hit minus minus a few times. That's good enough. Now back on the side and you can see now that this white blob that we had before is no longer it's no longer a white blob and we can now see inside of the sphere and what we need to be able to see we need to be able to see this white line we need to be able to see this green line and obviously this data as well so let's run through that again just to make sure that everybody knows how to do that so let me get back to a default setting here okay so again bring up transx and then by default, it's going to say, you know, view setup, uh, select targets, moons, and then just press plus plus to go to escape. That's one click. Then press forward to go to this stage. That's two clicks. Now press VW to go to eject plan. That's thir your third click. Now you can just hit minus minus and just even one time is good enough. So that's your fourth click. And then back, that's your fifth click. So that's how you can get this escape plan view and you can determine uh, whether or not you have correctly downloaded the fixed version of Transx. As long as you see this view without that big white blob in the middle of it, then you have, a, then you have successfully downloaded, installed, and effectively fixed your Transx. So that's going to be all we're going to talk about here in this video, just real quick video to explain how to fix that. Uh, Transx is way too complicated, way too sophisticated, to even attempt to explain how to use it in just one short 30 minute video, so I'm not even going to try. I just wanted to explain you know, how to fix it so that when we get into 
uh, future videos where we go out to Mars and do other things, then you are then you already have this version of TransX on your system. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below. And if you have any questions, leave your comments in the uh, comments area. Leave your questions rather in the comments area down below, and I'll be sure to address any questions that you have. And I will see you in the next video. Default, such as burn time calculator, base sync, um, and arrow break. Now there is an MFD that comes with Orbiter 2010 by default called Transx. I don't believe it's actually enabled. You have to go into modules and enable it. But it turns out that the Transx version uh, that comes with Orbiter 2010 is a little bit broken. It's a little unfortunate that that happened. Um, again, I don't think uh, Transx is enabled by default, so if you want to kind of follow along, you would have to go to your Orbiter launch pad, go into the modules, and then enable Transx. But the, the issue here is, let's say, for example, that we want to plot a course to go back to Earth. I'm just going to go through this quickly. This isn't an instructional video for how to do it. I just want to show what the problem is. So we're sitting here on the moon. You can see you know, we're at Brighton Beach uh, here in the Delta Glider. So in Transx, I'm just going to quickly press plus plus here to go to escape because we need to escape the moon to get back to Earth. And then we'll go forward on this side. We'll go over to our eject plan. And then we'll put in a little bit of prograde to get down to Earth. And again, don't worry about trying to follow along with this. This isn't and it's happened. So I want to talk about, uh, in this video, I want to talk about how we can actually download a replacement for Transx because it's a very useful MFD and we'll, be, uh, we'll, we'll need to use that in future missions to go to Mars, to go to Venus, and things like that. But first, let's take a look at the default version of Transx so that we can understand exactly what the problem is. Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And this video is going to be another installment in my Absolute Beginner Guide, the video series that I'm putting together that has a special focus on people who are brand new to Orbiter. Now, in the last few videos, we've taken a look at how to uh, download and install some various MFDs, MFDs that actually uh, don't come with Orbiter 2010 by